What is going on guys? You know what time it is. Time for another haul of plastic. Over the last month or so, I've picked up quite a few things. So we're gonna jump right into it because like I said, I did pick up quite a few toys. So we're gonna start off with this group right here first. I picked up some Nintendo characters. Got that new Peach. I really like that figure, it's pretty cool. I think World of Nintendo is doing a real good job. Also got that Fox McCloud. And my local True. So that was cool. She came with a little umbrella. I did a review on both of these, so you can check out some of my previous videos and you can see the reviews. Came with a little spaceship. I also picked up, finally got the six inch syndrome. Man, this figure is cool. I really like it. Kind of hard to find, but I finally managed to find it at Toys R Us as well. No, actually I got this at Target. My bad. Correction, I got this at Target actually. But he came with like interchangeable feet and whatnot, fingers that have like plasma extensions on them, so he's really cool, he came with a flight stand, and I haven't reviewed this guy yet, but I'm going to do it quite soon here, so stay tuned for that, but yeah, he's pretty cool, got the little thrust boosters on the bottom of the feet, I really like it, so that's a cool figure right there, and I also finally just picked up the Marvel Avengers Ultimate Character Guide the updated and expanded one. I had the one previous to this one. Now this one is expanded with like maybe more than 60 extra characters and villains up, the heroes and villains up there. So I was really excited about that and I got that at Target as well. And I'll probably do some kind of like comparison or review compared to the previous one of this one, but real cool book. Gives you all, the, I don't know if you can see this really well, but gives you all the power ratings of the characters and stuff like that. And they added some real key characters and groups and organizations in there. AIM is in there, so really, really cool. All right, next up, all right, next we have some G.I. Joe stuff. Um, I've recently just started getting back into collecting G.I. Joe, so I'm excited to pick up some here and there. I don't get them all, but just the characters and stuff that I like. So this is what I picked up for G.I. Joe's. I got that Killer Croc Blowtorch 2-pack. I wish they wouldn't have painted the, the crocodile red, but you know, whatever. Pretty cool. And I also picked up, let me see if I can set that down, this three pack. Now this is what I really, really wanted. The Alpine and that Shock Trooper, that Rock Viper. I'm gonna try to army build these. Um, I would like to at least get, you know, five of these packs so I can have five Shock Troopers and five Rock, uh, Rock Vipers. And I'll just have to trade off the, the Alpines or whatever. But yeah, so I only found this one at my local Toys R Us. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm also looking for that um, Storm Shadow 2 pack with Spirit, so I'm gonna try to get that. And I think there's a Gung Ho one as well. So that's my Joe pickup, moving right along. All right, now we have some Marvel stuff. Normally when I shoot these Hall of Plastic vids, Marvel is normally saved for last because I, I get so much Marvel and I did get quite a bit, as you can see here. But there's uh, other things that I want to save for last in this particular video, so make sure you watch it all the way through. But checking out the Marvel stuff, man, I picked up quite a bit. I recently went to a vacation trip to Vegas, so I did a little bit of shopping out there as well. Picked up some toys and goodies and stuff. Um, checked out some real cool toy shops. Uh, toy Shack out in Vegas was awesome, man, so I really liked that. Um, I went to Toy Box or The Toy Box um, and a few other places, Rogue Toys. So shout out to all those places, man. I really had a good time. But all right, let's see what we got for figures wise. Before I get into those figures, I did get one of these crappy Ant-Mans on the Ant. I left it in a bag because this thing falls apart and it sucks. Waste of 20 bucks, so got that out the way. <laughs> anyway, all right, we um, while I was in Vegas, I picked up this. Marvel Universe or Infinite Series Ares. It was $12 mint on card, so I had to pick that up. That was pretty cool. All right. I'm trying to move these things out of the way so I can get some space up here. I also picked this up at the Toy Shack in Vegas. It was, it was Mach $8, so I had to pick it up. I like the face sculpt on this thing. The helmet sucks, but really cool for eight bucks. Okay, what else we got here? Picked up the whole Ant-Man wave. I'm sure like most people have. So um, I have all of them. I just didn't pull them all out. 
There's the Ant-Man. That movie was really good too, man. I really liked it. We got the Giant Man. Grim Reapers over here. I like this figure actually. I think the sculpt is pretty good on that. Of course, everybody wanted the bulldozer, so I was glad to pick that guy up. Finally, our wrecking crew is complete. And then they built the Ultron, so really cool. Um, not a big fan of this Ultron, to be honest with you, but it's all right, I guess. It's a it's a figure, it's a figure, and it's a bath, so why not, right? All right, let's move those aside. All right. Also at my local Walgreens, I got to pick up one of these O'Grady Ant-Man exclusives. I like this figure. I think the sculpt is really cool. That same Spider-Man sculpt is really like dead on. Get some real good poses out of this guy. It's cool. I might review that. I'm not sure yet. Maybe. All right. Also in Vegas, I picked up this at TJ Maxx. It was like 10 bucks, I believe. So that was cool. I probably won't open out leaving mock though, I think. I figured, you know, 10 bucks, why not? Um, I think I got this in Vegas as well at the Disney store in the mall in Vegas on the strip. So I definitely want to review this Marvel Select. I think this thing is so sick, man. In my opinion, this is way better than the Toy Biz Hulkbuster. I know some people might, you know. Kill me for saying that, but in my opinion, I think this is better than the Toy Biz Hulkbuster. Everything, the sculpt, the paint app, it just looks more, you know, bigger, more uh, behemoth, <laughs> if that's the right word. Pretty dope. And I also picked up the um, San Diego exclusive Dormammu. I didn't get the whole box set. My main concern was getting him, and I, I want him all over time, but I wanted to get him first. So I was able to pick this up for a pretty good price with the, the Eye of Agmato. I am going to be reviewing both of these characters right here, but can't wait to review this Dormammu. Pretty sick, man. He got the flaming skulls. That's a badass figure. So he was the first one I had to get. I didn't want to play those ridiculous prices on eBay for the for the box set. So got him first at a real good deal. So stay tuned for the review on this guy. All right, moving on to the next group of toys. All right, next we have Dexter's Laboratory or Dexter's Laboratory. I was a huge fan of this show growing up. Uh, I used to watch these cartoons all the time. Um, I didn't even know this little playset or this little um, yeah playset came out, but I picked it up real, real cheap. I think I got it for like uh, 12, 13 bucks and everything like that. So and it's complete. So yeah, man, uh, I'm really excited about this. You got the Dexter. He's about four and a half inches. This dude's head is huge. Look at that. <laughs> man, he comes with his little super... You know, wrench. So that's pretty cool. Check out how huge this dude's head is. And I'm going to review this too, you know, so I'm not going to get in, in depth with it today, but he does have a little bit of articulation and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Also came with silly Dee Dee, his little sister Dee Dee. What you doing? I think that's Phineas and Ferb, though. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, I used to love this show. It also came with this little lab little base thing they have little slides that can slide out different little interchangeable slides so that's pretty cool he comes with the little jojo the monkey swinging up here and he does come off as well so i thought it was cool man i try to have a little bit of everything in my collection stuff i just like think that i think is cool or funny or something like that so how can you not have a, a dexter action figure so that's that all right let's move right along all right, so last but not least, man, I am really excited to finally get all of these Popeye figures all at once. Um, I got a real good deal on this whole lot of the Series 5, so I'm really stoked about this, man. I've been wanting these for a while. I already have this Popeye right here, and I did a review of this one, so check that out in my, my videos if you haven't already. But man, like I said, I was able to get this whole lot right here uh, for a real good deal. They're fully complete, great condition, man, so um, I think I got a real good deal, so... Shout out to the person that hooked me up with those. But yeah, I will I will review each and every one of these guys except for this one because I've already done this one. So now I have two of that Popeye. But I will do all the other four in detail. So stay tuned for those videos. But uh, I'll just give you a quick little run through of everybody I got right now. Got the Bluto. 
Came with his 2,000 pound weight. Dude must be real strong. So here he is right here. Also came with a little dumbbell. So that's cool. Got the olive oil she came with. Picture frame. A Popeye on one side and blue on the other. She also came with sweet pea. Really neat, cool little thing right there. Here she is. She's just like a little bendy figure. She came with a purse as well. And her hat. All right, stand up, lady. All right, we got Popeye here. Came with his like some shark jaws. Came with an interchangeable muscle with a tattoo on it. Just snaps right on his arm. Little spinach can. He also came with an anchor. And his pipe as well. All right, now this Popeye came with spinach as well. Different than this one though, because it's like he's sque he squares it out a little bit. See, like if you can see how let me back up. See that one's kind of flat, and then this one is coming out like that. He also came with a picture frame. Be pappy. Here's this little muscle ripping out of his pea coat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Came with a little duffel bag and he has a map inside of it too. I'll get in full detail when I do the review of this guy, but he has a little map that came in it as well. And here's the Popeye and the pea coat. Pretty neat. And then we got Wimpy. Here's Jeep. Pretty dope. He came with his little meat grinder, little patty maker. He came with a bunch of uh, hamburgers, man. These are great little props and stuff for other like six inch figures as well. They'll fit in perfectly in their hands. He came with like three loose ones like that. One is in his hand right now, he's eating it. And he came with a tray that he holds. Now, they don't come off individually, but really neat, man. So pretty cool. All right, guys, so there you have it, guys. I, I enjoyed this haul. I enjoyed sharing this with you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it as well. Give it two thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep collecting. Spread that love. It's always showtime in my world. Peace.